here we go coming at you with a brand new stream i'm excited to talk about this one because this is the first time i have ever played mass effect i i've known a lot of people who've played it i know a lot of people who swear by this game and love this game to death and you know what i am excited to get in on this too i'm excited to get in on this too even my echo agrees with me um sorry about that just had to test the volume make sure that everything was working well oh my god yes so we got ourselves a mass effect legendary edition all three games coming in on this i've never touched mass effect before um so i'm excited to see what you know can happen we're just gonna sign the nda that you know allows ea to you know own my soul just little things don't worry about it and we start with mass effect one Oh, I'm so excited. There's so much hype about this game, and I'm so excited to finally see what this is all about. Mass Effect. Press any button. The button was pressed. What shall come of it? Mm. Oh, we are definitely starting a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Yep. Classified information requested. Okay, okay. Establishing secure connection. Welcome, bienvenue, welcome. How's it secure going? Secure connection confirmed. I am, for the first time ever, playing Mass Effect. Um, I have never touched this game before. I'm really excited to get this going. Manually enter career info and physical stats. Of course I'm going to enter my own stuff. Um... Hell yes, we are customizing everything. First Please name. log in to access your profile. Okay. Connection is established. Decrypting. Let's get this going. Warning. Data corruption detected. Oh, Please no. reconstruct profile. I'm being reconstructed. Confirm pre-service history. Ooh, okay. So... Prehistory. Both of your parents uh, were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location. Uh, following your parents' footsteps, you enlist. Okay. You were born and raised on Min... Mindwar? Mindyor? Mindor. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Or, Earthborn. You were an orphan, raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting in the alliance military when you turned 18. I like the idea of the spacer. Confirm psychological spacer. profile. Ooh, okay. Um, during your training, a mission you were uh, on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell. And now, you alone left to tell the tale. The War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. More ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. 
Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Interesting choice. By the way, Vilcom and Bienvenue, and of course, welcome. We have ourselves a Yosarian coming in with the seven months of subscriptions. By the way, uh, just like before, my computer that I normally stream with so I can see chat is not functioning, so I am doing this on my phone, so if I miss anything, I will come back to it and, like, have a very, very tiny uh, screen. Mazel tov! Mazel tov! Lachaim! Where's the alcohol that I can take a drink from? Here we go. Lachaim! Ah. Anyway. So, I think I'm gonna go with Soul Survivor. I like the... Confirm military specialization. Ooh, okay. So, I've never played this, so I don't know what these do. Um, this is starting at one. Yeah. I... Sentinel, Infiltrator, Vanguard. Okay, so let me read each of these. Soldiers are a combat specialist ideal for front lines. Uh, they have improved health, can specialize in use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy. Engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni tool. Um, I have no idea what any of that means, so uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read this real quick. Hold on. Um. They can decrypt security systems, repair and modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor and specialize in pistols. The Adept. The Adepts are biotic specialists, which I'm assuming is like some psychic thing, considering what I'm looking at right now. Uh, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw um, objects, shield the squad, or disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at a long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinels combine biotic and tech. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes. Interesting. But at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. Vanguards are biotic warriors. Um, they combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents that are especially deadly at short range, pistols and shotguns, and wear medium armor. Okay, so we have, like, the specialty traits for each one, and then kind of, like, the hybrid classes. Interesting. Um... Okay, focus either tech or biotic to maximize combos. I don't know what any combos are. I don't know any of this. I'm playing through my playthrough, not so much to optimize, but just to play through how I think I would be. Um, we're definitely going roleplay heavy in this. And so knowing me, I would probably be an infiltrator if I was in this world. Oh, just recommending choose one. Fair enough, fair enough. Well... Confirm facial identification. Oh, no, we're gonna... I'm looking around. Ah. Alright, yeah, no, we're definitely gonna customize some stuff. Oh, so this isn't, like, full customization. This is partial. Interesting. Okay, so there's presets I kind of get to choose from. And then I can adjust based off of the presets.
Interesting. Okay, well, I'm pasty as fuck, so we're gonna go with that. Complexion. Three options for complexion. We'll go the clear tone one. Okay. So we can adjust these. Okay. customization is like if I have the option to get rid of hair or at least remove as much hair as possible I tend to do that and then customize and go from there because stuff like the ears things like that you can't really tell when there's hair in the way I'm betting you'll like the Asari race. My favorite, though, is the Krogan. I... Okay, so I know... When it comes to the lore, I know a tiny bit. Um, I know the Asari are the blue monogender um, race. And apparently, like, they're super old. And they are good with, like, psychic stuff. I know that much. And I know the Krogan are, like, lizard frog warrior dudes, and they apparently have issues with Salarians, who I don't know what Salarians are. Um, and then there's, like, the chitinous guys uh, that uh, Garrus is. Um, that's really, that's roughly what I know. Um... I'm sure I will learn about a lot of it as I play. Alright. Ooh, that's cute. We're getting that purple. Yeah. Okay. Jawline. shape. I think that's actually closest to my mouth shape. No, actually that is. Depth. It's interesting that you can't adjust more, but I mean, I guess this is, you know, Garius is a Turian. They're militaristic fun characters. Interesting. Okay. There we go. 
Alrighty, so... Now we can actually see what hairstyles are available and go from there. They got little patterns and shit. That's cool. Hold on. Just that? Is that the only one with the patterns? What colors can we play with? Take it, it's more like natural, and then we get into... Yeah. Okay. Okay. in just a little bit. Sorry I'm not so talkative. I'm, I'm like I'm debating the stuff here. I will definitely be talking a little bit more. Yes. Scarring. I think I'm actually going to go with this one. So I actually, I have a scar literally above my, um, well, it's like on my temple on my right hand side, or yeah, the right side of my face. And then I do have a scar, another one, actually, beneath my lips on my chin. So this is the closest approximation for, like, my own scarring. Profile reconstruction complete. Confirm facial identification. We're gonna adjust the hair. Yeah. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. There we go. Okay. Okay. I like it. We shall accept. For Quinn Shepard. Identification confirmed. Uh, Alright, so. Combat difficulty is going to be normal. Uh, auto level up is definitely a no. I want to be able to spend my points. Level scaling. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range was used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. I mean the same, but the number of levels is double. Definitely turning subtitles on. Oh, 
Auto save on. Yeah, sure. I'm assuming that I can adjust these all later. Okay. Here we go. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Ooh. Both her parents were in the Navy. Hello, Keith David. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. <laughs> you just bring it all out in the immediate, okay? In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remnants of ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for the incredible technology was forced the very fabric of something. I lost it all. Ah! Uh, okay. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Commander. Sherper. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Is that Seth Green? The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. I think I'm hearing Seth Green. Board is green. Approach run has begun. I am hearing Seth Green. Okay. It's like I already heard Keith David, which was fucking awesome. Got Thrusters, yeeted. Check navigation. <laughs> check internal emissions sink engaged. All systems online. Drift just under 1500k. Okay. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Uh. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. Kind of, I they appreciate have a right to you send so someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. I mean, we just got Find yeeted by like a fucking railgun. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Press. Okay, so hold on. I got journal. Looks like this is just the mission summaries and assignments. Okay. Squad is me, myself, and I. Which I apparently have points to spend. Okay. Um. Use to get the encryption. So do I have the stuff that has the little marks on them? Is that what's going on? Can use electronic skill on easy objects. Does 50 damage. Okay. 
If they're green, you have them. Okay, so I have Overload, so I'm assuming that's fucking with shields, and then Sabotage overheats enemy weapons. Okay. Reduce heat buildup on pistols and sniper rifles. Increase the tech mine explosion of Sabotage and Overload. Uh, we're definitely going to, uh, get some charm. I feel like getting these as well is going to be helpful. Okay, interesting. And then the Codex. What do we got for the Codex? The Alliance's Government and Military of Humanity Beyond Soul. Ooh, okay. Sorry, I'm a lore hound, so we're going to be covering a lot of lore. Um, 2069, Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. 2103, Lowell City in Eos Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. 2137, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142, construction of Gagarin Station. Aw, Yuri Gagarin. Uh, jump zero begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. 2148, prospectors discover the Prothean ruins. Prothean ruins uh, at Promethei Planium on Mars. 2149. Translation of the Prothean data leads humans to the Charon Mass Relay, Systems Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. 2151, a shipping accident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element zero. Alliance begins construction of Arcturus Station. 2152. Roughly 30% of children born in the Singapore after Element Zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. Systems Alliance begins settlement on Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. 2154. I'm born! Yeah! 2155. Systems Alliance occupies completed portions of the Arcturus Station as a headquarters. 2156. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. 2157. Turians encounter human explorers. First contact war. Occupation and liberation of the human colony Shanxi. 2158. Humans learn potential of biotics. All international effort to track element zero exposures begins with Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. 2160. Systems Alliance Parliament formed. 2165. Human established uh, embassy on Citadel. 2170. Batarian slavers attack the Alliance colony on Mindor. Mindor? 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 I'm assuming Mindor. 2176. Skylian Blitz. Pirates and slavers attack Elysium, the human capital in the Skylian Verge. 2177. Thresher Maws devour the Alliance colony of Akuns. Okay, I've heard of Thresher Maws. What the hell is a Thresher Maw? Um, 2178. In retaliation, why you ain't in my stream? Oh, hi. How come I didn't get the notice that you're here? Oh, by the way, thank you for the uh, long subs. Currently on an eight-month streak. Damn. 
I just saw me and then see a notice on just saying. Uh, 2178, in retaliation on the Skylian Blitz, an Alliance fleet wipes out army of slavers on the moon of Torfan. And then we're on the current date. Okay, so that's humanity systems. And then me. Both my parents were Alliance military, travel on ships, yes. Um, investigate a coups. Alliance suddenly dropped out of conflict arriving on the surface. Your patrol found Selman attack, but there were no survivors. Oh, so I have history with Thresher Maws. Okay. Um, teeth and tentacles that rose from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire could drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Fifteen Marines died on a coups. You were the one and only survivor. A monument to the planet commemorates the massacre. A grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread through the stars. Finally, it gives me the little notification that Jen's here. By the way, Vil Komen, bienvenue, and of course, welcome, Jen. This is my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect, and I'm kind of excited for it. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting also jerked. With him. Just relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Yes, see, me too. This is my first playthrough. So this is the galaxy map. Hello, Navigator. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you are. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Interesting, okay. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. So, talk to me about stealth what systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. And talk to me about the captain. With the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. So, first off, thank you, Navigator Exposition. Secondly, welcome and bienvenue, and of course, welcome. How's it going? Hope y'all are doing well. Um... We are just getting this started. Uh, Turian you don't Spectre. trust Nihilus. Talk to I me don't about like it. Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Uh, that was long ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a special... Jerk to jerk? What? a Turian. Nerd! Yeah, that's about right. That, that, that actually tracks. Military, but that, that, that doesn't tracks a lot. To the captain like the rest of us. How you doing? Inspectors operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I am doing quite well, actually. Um, we are going to be kind of marathon streaming here. I have um, my first ever run through of Mass Effect going till about six. Then at 6, we're switching over for some Dead by Daylight with x Girly as part of x Girly's 12-hour stream, which is currently going on right now. And she is doing some God of War runs. So, definitely give her a check out as well. In the meantime, um, yeah, no, beyond that, it's just been a pretty chill day. Got work tomorrow, so I'm trying to relax as much as I can. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. See you later, Navigator Exposition. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. 
There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy bits, Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Doctor's Only right. a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. And talk to me about the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. So protect much it knowledge. at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There are no human Spectres. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on Akuz. Can can we not talk about Akuz? I'm traumatized. God. What can you tell Rude. me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. He'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This I live from a coos. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the this arm. mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. God, I feel you're like you're gonna fine, die. Aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. And why are we Any doing idea that? why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. God, Jenkins. Jenkins! The Calm down, down, Jenkins. Goodbye, Commander. You need the chill. Hello, Turian. That I've just learned who that is. What's up? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Let's talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof totally. that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Yeah, this what's really going on? This far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the there must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Okay. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? 
I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Yeah, 50,000! legacy still remains. Oh my god! The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is we got a raid! The last time How is it going, y'all? It jumped our technology forward oh, to the so, Demon Mom, Eden Prime, Vilcoman, Pianfanu, and of course, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. We need to by. bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Ooh, so very interesting. And with eight months on the subscription, you gotta love it. Okay. I just gifted Demon Mama sub on next girly stream. There you go. I like this is interesting. The lore's building. I'm just I'm super excited to kind of see where this goes because I've heard so much like good press about Mass Effect. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Interesting. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. Okay, The okay. beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Uh, why are you What's here going to evaluate on, me? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. Oh, well... You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Okay, no, uh, Demon Mom, I totally understand. I actually, I ended up doing something similar with another friend of mine who's streaming this. Um... When she was playing, I was just like, yeah, you know what? Love ya, support ya. I really don't want this game spoiled for me because I've never played it before. So, and I'm about to stream it myself, so I'm going to drop out. But, you know, uh, I definitely appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you just, you know, coming to hang out even if it's for a little bit. Obviously, nothing really major has happened. So, it's not like we're getting stuff going. Um, yes, you did raid. And thank you very much for the well wishes. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Who knows, maybe uh, you'll stop by later if you wake up in time for at least the very end of X Girlie's uh, run, in which I will also be joining the Dead by Daylights um, in about two hours. Two hours and 15 minutes. And we're going till midnight our time, so definitely early for you in the meantime you put my name forward why would a turian want a human in the specters not all turians resent humanity some of us see the potential of your species we see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the specters oh we are you should totally group. join us Yusarian. it's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek i don't care that you're human shepherd i only care that you can do the job yeah, demon, good night. <laughs> All right. Well, you support this captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Very well. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right, so... Let's get some more information. Uh, talk to me about Eden Prime. I'd like to know off. more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. Okay, okay. To forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. Yep. It symbolizes talk to me. humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. Damn, and Skippy. After this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. And now talk to me about, about these the proteins. proteins. Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. 
but everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their okay. citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. All hail the Protheans. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. The wrong hands! The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. What's the Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. What are those Last species? The Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. I have so many more questions. Just give the word, Captain. But apparently we we're going. Close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh shit. Get down. Oh shit. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get e back. They came out of nowhere. We need Oh shit. The fuck? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. Galactus has reached out, out no other Alliance ships in the area. Prime. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly. How's it going, okay, so? attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins! Glad to hear that it's gone well. Engaging stealth systems. That's the sound of stealth. Is. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What Job has been working, Captain? and helping survivors is a secondary well objective. There you go. The beacon's your top um, priority. Roughly about the same. Drop point one. Nylon, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nylon will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. You can count We've on got us. Got back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. You know, for a stealth ship, that's very, very visible. All right, so ship perimeter secure, Commander. Kaiden and Jenkins. Oh, they're little, like, gas bag things. This place got hit up. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't oh, they're literally called gas bags. <laughs> what? Apparently, we have a department at work, and all they try to do is break and hack our systems to find flaws. Yeah. That sounds amazing. If I had the technological skill to do so, I would do shit like that all the time. Hi, guy. How are you? What's going on? Can I poke you? Let me poke you. I want to poke your brain. Ooh, hello. What's this? Yeah, sure. Take a whatever. 
Why can't I run? Is there a button I'm not pushing? Okay. Green stuff must be what I have access to. So that's the Kessler. Okay. That's how I switch. Good to know. Obviously aim. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Smells like smoke. Crouch. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I can choose what weapons my squad uses. Stamp. Jenkins, no. Jenkins. Damn it, Jenkins. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Damn it, chickens. Why'd well, you have to go and die? Oh, shit. Some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Prime will never be the same again. How do I heal? Oh, shit. Um, come here. Okay. The fuck did I just do? That's bash. Okay. I need to... Hold on. We're gonna open up the options and I'm just gonna look at my controls because I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. No, I don't need that. Damn it. How do I heal? Attack your target, have a specific... They killed the gas bag! Dudes. Oh. Damn. Okay, robot dudes. Fucking noise. I was gonna make it. 
Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? What's going on, Williams? Burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Apparently. Oh, man. God. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your Where's hand? the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't abandon yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed okay, us. Okay, those are called Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? The uh, Beacon. Beacon, Beacon, Beacon. come for the Beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. All right, so. Talk to me about what happened before the Describe attack. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. All right, talk to me about the beacon. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. Welcome and bienvenue, and of course, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. They the and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself. But I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Uh, apparently. And... Talk to me about the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but... Okay, who the fuck are the Quarians? ...drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay. Uh, Have you seen a Turian there's... Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Okay, well, let's go. Move up! Okay. Have a full crew. Go to squad. Okay, option button, mission computer, then go to squad. Ooh, yes. Alright, so. I have Kaiden, who is a sentinel. So, I definitely want barrier. And I want first aid. to Ashley here, who is a soldier. We'll do assault rifle, overkill, and soldier. Okay. And then I don't have any other points, so... Set that up, and we resume. Seriously though, how do I run? I wanna, I wanna run. Like if this is as fast as I can go, I'm not entirely happy. So this is how I enter cover.
Okay, so. What's in the crate? What's in the crate? I'm assuming this is the, this dig, is site. the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Yes. By who? Our side this is my side. first time ever say. playing Mass Maybe Effect. We'll after we I have never the touched camp. this game before. I know very little about the universe and the lore. This is all new to me. By the way, welcome and bienvenue, and of course, welcome. Hard to say. Let's check for survivors. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All-time favorite series. I played through it four times. Oh, Change well. Plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Um. Okay, Mr. Boss Man. Going up the ramps. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place just... for an ambush. Keep oh, going. damn. I was gonna say, what the hell happened to these bodies, but... What the hell happened to oh, these God. bodies? They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Uh... Okay... Okay, dude. How do I heal you? I I need to know how I heal you. Cause clearly this isn't working. Smells like smoke and death. Oh, I, what's my button to heal? I think I just threw a grenade. I can't heal. Why can't I heal? Yeah. Okay. Um... I guess we'll take everything. I just want to heal him. They usually heal automatically, okay? Security locks engaged. Well, that was yeah, an easy encryption. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. It's okay. It's safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. I mean, You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the is, excavation. Yeah. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Talk to me what about the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Yes. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Alright, talk to Can me about the beacon. Can you tell me beacon. anything about the beacon? 
It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. So people Miracles, keep telling me. New technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Fair enough. We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. That is another Learn viewpoint. More, please, this isn't the time. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I... 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 I'm... Okay, I'm assuming you mean female shepherd. Um... I don't... I don't know the difference, so I'm, uh, I will go with your opinion. <laughs> I'm just playing Quinn Shepard as I see fit to play him. Okay. Um, <laughs> I could shut him up, Williams, but I'm not going take to. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop Only it. Only difference is Night who you is romance. Falling. Okay. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. Obviously, no I'm gonna uh, romance it. Manuel. Manuel and I are gonna just, you know, get it on. It'll be good. Anything in here? Anything in here besides you guys? No. Can you give me any goodies? Ooh, goodies. I like goodies. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of stuff. Um, is that really it? Just let me jump. So let's... Here we go. Okay. So for me, I have my Avenger, I have a Kessler, I have a Lancer, and I have a Storm. I don't know what they all do. Kaiden, or whatever his name is, has not drawn, or not healed up, which has me a little worried, but... Saren! Oh. Nihilus. Oh, hello. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Dude, do you not see that Don't he is, worry. like, robotic? I've got it under control. Oh god! Motherfucker just ice this dude! What is that? Off in the distance. Uh... Look at the size of it! Hello. That doesn't look good. Oh. Can you all not shoot me while I'm looking at the ship? Hold on. 
Uh, I think you can force Kaiden to heal by using the power selection wheel. Oh! Okay. Um, use R1 to aim at a target, select the power within L and X to use it. Okay. Use throw, sabotage. Barriers recharging. So you have to map to heal? I don't have, apparently, heal to map with. I can get him to use barrier. Kaiden has first aid. Oh shit, did we level up? Okay, um... basic abilities. Cool, we leveled up. Um, oh shit, I got six points. Okay, uh, let's see here. Sniper rifles. Ah, okay, so I have to get pistols to a certain point to unlock sniper rifles. Interesting. Yeah, be charming as fuck. So I don't have first aid yet, I need. Okay. Interesting. I'm figuring this out. I will be here to offer passive assistance on how to find buttons. You can auto-level up your squad if you prefer. Or you can do it how you want if you have an ideal party in mind. I mean, I don't really know what an ideal party would look like, so we're just kind of fucking around and figuring things out as we go. Loot Goblin Instincts tell me to look around for extra fun goodies. Yeah, 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 that's what they all say, Ashley. So I get access to shield boost. I would do a support character, a tank character, and a tech hat character. Great, if I could get you to just heal yourself. My dude. <gasps> Nihilus! Commander, it's Nihilus. Oh no. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I yeah, saw what he happened was. to that Turian. The other one shot him. 
It wasn't the guest. saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon, damn it? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. What were you doing Wait, behind the crates? You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. All right. Talk to me about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. And the beacon? Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Now, the ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Alright. Let's get out of here. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, go take another nap, you jerk. Oh, motherfucker. I'm coming for you.
basically up to his cover fire. Kaiden. Good. This barrier, you idiot. Seriously, how the hell do I heal people? He Set just the dropped. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh, no worries, no worries. Kaiden just dropped. Oh. Okay. Well, he has the first aid ability, which is what's throwing me off. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah, I'm working on it. Down, suppressing fire. shot through someone's face. Alright, y'all better protect me, damn it.
Oh, fuck. This would be so much better if I knew how to heal myself. this because I'm not on the right thing. Not okay. Let me disarm it. What are you doing? I actually thought I was going to lose that. triangle this whole goddamn time. I pressed that earlier, too. Oh, I'm so angry with life. This entire time I've been trying to figure out how to do this. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Yeah, because someone must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah. Kaiden? Kaiden? No. Kaiden, no. downloaded into my brain. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. The ship cause this human must be okay.
Heights. So that Doctor, happened. Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Ah, Something thank you. happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Uh, was I What's hurt? the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. No, nothing's clear at all. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. Hello, Captain. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. What about Jenkins? Damn it, Jenkins! Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Uh, what about... Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. What about the guests? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Damn it! Uh, sorry, could have. I don't know if that's actually true, but I feel like that seems like a funny thing to say. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I yes. I you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Yeah, we've got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with <laughs> I that I mean, beacon. same? You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? So, here's the thing. Why the fuck are they called aliens? Like, we're all in space. There is no home planet. Everyone is aliens to everybody else. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? War. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. An act of war? He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. 
Okay, hold on. Uh, humans only recently came into contact with outside space forces. Uh, we did read about that in the Codex, so they're slow adjusting. But yes, there are some humans who are very, very hateful towards other species. I'm not sure if racist is the right term. Uh, I mean, xenophobic would, I guess, be the technical right term. Um, anyway. Oh, don't you worry. I'll, I'll stop find him. some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay.